Alright you guys got another video on how to change the Windows 11 boot logo. You can do this on Windows 10 as well if you want to. I'm changing this blue one right here and uh, you can see it flash on the screen very quickly. That is the one that we're going to be changing with our own custom logo. Now there's a lot of manufacturers that change this logo like Dell, HP and other manufacturers like Asus and MSI and a bunch of others that will have their own custom logo. And I'm going to show you how to do it really simply by using a piece of software. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this. But before I do that, let me just give you a word of warning here, which is making changes to the boot logo will make changes to the Windows bootloader. This can cause Windows not to boot if something goes wrong. So you continue at your own risk. OK, so let's get started. So first off, what we're going to do here is I'm going to open up system information. It's important that your system has a certain criteria, i.e. UEFI. If your BIOS mode is UEFI, then you should be pretty much OK to continue. So what we're going to do here is you're running old legacy systems like an old PC that is running Windows 11 on unsupported hardware then you're probably not going to be able to do this properly and you can end up with a non-bootable PC. So make sure that you are running the BIOS mode UEFI and that is what you're running on that system and everything should be good. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do next is take a look at the disk management here and you can also check here to make sure that you're running GPT and not MBR. If you're running MBR then you can end up with an issue where the system won't boot. So make sure if you go into here and you look at, say, for instance, volumes, you will see that we are running a GPT system, as you'd expect on a Windows 11 based system. So that's all good, and we're ready to start the process. I'm going to go ahead and close this all off. And what we're going to do is we first need to obviously get the software we're going to be using, and this is the HackBGRT, and we're going to be using this one right here to basically change our boot logo. Now, you've probably seen a lot of big companies like Asus and MSI that have their own custom uh, logo on the boot up screen. And again, if you want to change yours to your own custom one, you can do by using this particular type of software. So let's go ahead and go to latest here. And we're going to download the uh, zip file and we need to unzip this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and uh, download it. And then we can extract it to our desktop. There we go, we've got that downloaded. So now let's go to our downloads folder. And what we're going to do here is drag this onto the desktop here. And once we've done this, we'll be able to extract this to our desktop. You can extract it to wherever you like. I'm going to leave it here just for this tutorial because it makes it easier. So let's go ahead and right click on this. And what we're going to do is click extract all. And we'll leave that in the location where it is, which is on the desktop. And you can now see that's been extracted. Here we have our folder. We can delete this one. We don't need this one anymore. So what you're going to need to do is make sure you've got your images. So I've got a couple of logos here that I'm going to be using here. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. So this one here. And I'm going to use this one on this one. But we also have this one here, which is another logo, which I'm not going to use. But you can use whatever ones you want. So let's go ahead and open up our paint. So we're going to go into and type paint because that's installed on Windows. I'm going to open this up here. And what we need to do here is we're going to go up to file, open, and we're going to open our image. So there's our image right there. And it's a bit big and we need to resize this. So we can click on this one here that says resize, go to pixels, and we'll make this say, for instance, 300, like so. And uh, you can make it slightly bigger if you want to, but I'm just going to make that 300 for this video. Click on layers and we can now click plus and then we can now put the black background on here. Because there's a black background on the boot screen. So what we're going to do is make sure we have black here. Otherwise, it's going to fill it with white. So we're going to even black and it's now blacked out our image. So what we need to do is just move this up like so. And now we have a black background with our logo. So let's go ahead and click save. And we want to save this as a BMP picture. And we want to make sure that's 24 bit. And you can give it a name because we're going to be renaming this in a second. So I'm just going to call it test. And we can put that onto our desktop. Now we've got our image already. 
you can close off paint and you can see it's called test. So let's go into our folder here and we're going to open up our HackBGRT and we're going to see there is a logo in here called Splash. This is the actual logo that they give you as a reference. So what we're going to do is we're just going to rename this Splash and we're just going to overwrite the one in that folder. And that's going to save us a lot of hassle and time. Let's just go ahead and just do that. I'm going to just put these on large icons so you can actually see that's what it's called. So we're going to overwrite this one with ours and it will say replace. And there we go. That's now done. Once that's done, we're going to click on the setup, right click and run this as administrator. You should see Windows protected your PC. If you click more information, you'll see it's an unknown publisher, but we're going to run this anyway and click yes. And now we should have a little black prompt box opening up here. What we're interested in is the one at the very top, which is install. So we're going to click on I to create a new EFI boot entry for what we've just created here. Now, you may need to change this in the BIOS to boot to this, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and load this up and close this off. And you can see all done. And you may need to change the boot order to that hack BGRT image that we've just created there. But in my case, I didn't have to do that. But if you do not get the screen that you're seeing right here, which is the one we just created, then you'll need to go into your BIOS and change the boot order to boot to hack uh, BGRT. Otherwise, it's not going to show your logo. And I'll quickly show you again here what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. And uh, again, you can make changes to your logo. I'm just using one that I had available, but you can make more better ones than what I'm showing you here. But it just goes to show you how easy it is to change the boot logo on a Windows 11 system. You can do this also on uh, Windows 10 as well. Just remember what I said at the beginning, you do this at your own risk because obviously not everyone needs to change the boot logo. It's just a lot of people always ask how to do it. Now, if you want to revert back, just run this as administrator again, and you should get the command prompt box opening up. And we're gonna be doing D here for disable, removes created entries and restores the MS bootloader onto our system again. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to push D here. R will completely remove it and disables and deletes all the files and images. I'm just going to do D here for me and uh, run this and see what happens. Push any key to close this off. And when you uh, close this off and restart, you should then see the default Windows boot logo back where it was before. And it's that simple. That's basically how you can change your boot logo on Windows 11. And you can also do this on Windows 10 as well. Anyway, that's gonna be about it. Pretty basic video. So for people that want to change it and create their own boot logos, get creative and make your own custom ones, let me know in the comment section below whether you've done this to your machine. I'd be interested to uh, read your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just wanna say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.